Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a ringtone for your iPhone. Uh, I've got an iPhone 4, it should work for any version, but uh, anyway, here you go. If you Basically the only requirement is that you have iTunes, which if you've got an iPhone, 99% chance are, are that you do, and that you've got that song somewhere in your library, and it doesn't matter how or where or whatever, if it's the sound, it's in your library, that's great. If it's not, just drag it into your library, and then we'll go. Assuming that you already have it in your library, I'm going to take this song and you're going to right click on it and go to get info. Here you're going to select under the options tab, you're going to select a start time and in my case I've already listened to the song and I know where to start at and uh, stop time. I'm going to put that one in here. The only trick is you've got to um, use a total time of less than 30 seconds. That's because that's the maximum for your um, for a ringtone. If you go longer than that, it won't synchronize. So uh, you can see I've selected my times. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to right click on this and what I want to do is create what they call an AAC version. Right here you can see I have the option to create an MP3. If you go to this spot and it says anything other than create AAC, it means you need to change your settings. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to Edit, Preferences, and you're going to see this screen, screen open up, and you're going to select on the General tab, General. You're going to go under where it says When You Insert a CD, go to your Import Settings. And you can see here it says MP3, which is what we saw, and we want this to go to, here's all your choices. You want it to be AAC. You're going to say OK and you're going to acknowledge that and once that goes away you're going to go back to your song right click on it and again now you can see here it says create the AAC version so you're ready to go click on that underneath here you're going to see this the song title is going to duplicate it's going to say incomplete as it does it and you can see that that's how fast it can create the song for you now that it's done now that you see that song here and you see the time you know it's done go back to your original song and go to the Get Info tab again, again under Options, and unclick these two check marks. If you don't do that, the next time you go to play that song, you'll only get to hear that 30 second or 25 second chunk that you've done. Now that we've done that, we're going to uh, drag this song onto the desktop. So here we go. We're going to drag it straight across, and there it sits. Okay, now that it's done that we're going to delete the file off of or excuse me out of come on I want to delete the song make sure you get the right version the short version not the not the original song you're going to delete that from your iTunes library yes I know I'm going to delete the song and no I, I don't want to keep it so let's move it to the recycle bin now that that's gone, I'm going to go back over to my so the song on my desktop, and I'm going to change it from an M4A to an M4R. And the only technical difference that I'm aware of is it is none that the software arbitrarily when you if Apple does this, they create they change the length they force the length of this song or this file to be 30 seconds or less. Um, so that's why you have to do it less than 30 seconds because it won't, it, the system won't allow you to synchronize it. So now that I've done that, all I've got to do now is I'm going to drag this back over to my library. I'm going to see how the library is highlighted in blue. I'm going to let go of it and I'm going to double click on tones and there it is right there. And let's just double click it for a moment. And you can see that's how it works. So the next time you synchronize your um, your iPhone with uh, iTunes, you'll have the ringtone ready to be selected and used in your thing. Thanks for watching the video. I'll make a, a, a Word document or something and put this up on my website so that you can see this uh, in writing if that's an easier thing for you than watching through the video. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye.